Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss how to filter power apps list box first of all open your power apps with your respective microsoft credentials and filtering a data and displaying the result in a control such as galleries and data tables in a regular task when dealing with power apps whenever you want to create a blank canvas app just click on the create button here select the blank app and choose blank canvas app then click on the create button here provide the app name and here you can also choose two different formats one is tablet and one is phone next click on the create button first of all i will show you how to filter the power apps list box using the sharepoint choice field for that go to the sharepoint online list here you can see this is my sharepoint online list as project tracker and inside this i have added different columns and here i will take this choice column like status and to bind these status values on list box and filter the gallery based on the list box selected value to achieve it go to the power apps and whenever you want to add a sharepoint online list to the power apps just go to the data section here select the add data and choose your data source like sharepoint and select your respective sharepoint online site then choose your list like project tracker then click on the connect button now go to the default screen change the default screen name now insert the list box control for that expand the insert tab here search the list box and change the list box name next to set its items property Here you can see the, this distinct function is used to remove the duplicates in a SharePoint online list and this is my SharePoint online list like project tracker this is my SharePoint online list choice field but i need to add all value to the list box control to display all the records on a gallery control for that select the default screen and set its on visible property here you can see collection projects is my power apps collection and this is my collection item like all and this is my sharepoint online list as project tracker and this is my sharepoint online list choice field next save and publish the app and once reload the app and change the items property like collection name now you will get the all value inside the list box next insert a gallery control then set is item property like here you can see this is my sharepoint list box control name like list projects and this is my sharepoint online list now go to the preview section and select the any value from the list box control based on the list box control selection the gallery will display all records from the sharepoint online list next i will show you how to filter the list box control dates for that insert another blank screen 
For that I have taken my SharePoint online list like training courses. Inside this I have added different columns using with two date columns like course start date and course end date. Based on the course start date now I will show you how to filter the gallery based on the list box control selection date. For that go to the power apps. Now add the respect to SharePoint online list to the power apps. For that go to the data section. Here select the add data and search SharePoint. And select your SharePoint online site. And select your SharePoint online list like training courses. Then click on the connect button. Now select the specific screen. Here insert the list box control. Then set its items property as. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like training courses and this is my SharePoint online list date and time column like course and start date. Now insert a gallery control. Then set its items property like. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like training courses and this is my SharePoint online list date and time column and this is power apps list box control name. Now go to the preview section and select any date from the list box control that the gallery control will filter each record from a SharePoint online list based on the list box selection. In the last I will show you how to search and filter list box control and display the records on the data table control. For that insert a another blank screen. First of all insert a text input control. And make it default property as blank. Then insert a list box control. and set its items property like. Next insert a data table control. And set its items property like. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like training courses and this is my SharePoint online list date and time column this, and this is power apps list box control name and this is power apps text input control name. Once your app is ready just save and publish the app. Then go to the preview section. Here search any technology. And select the date from list box control. Data table will filter each record from a SharePoint online list based on the search and list box control selected date. Yes friends this is all about how to filter a list box control using different ways. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online Power Apps for Automate and Power BI. Thank you.